Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Tired of pushy recruiters sending you LinkedIn requests for jobs you have no interest in? Tired of blasting out resumes into the dark? If so, you should check out Hired.com. Hired.com flips job searching on its head by having top employers like Facebook come to you after you fill out one simple application. You also get your own job coach to help you on your next job search. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you at least fill out the application. Just go to Hired.com forward slash simple programmer. And when you get hired with Hired, you'll get double the normal sign-on bonus for using that link. So I got a question about Pluralsight today, about using Pluralsight to gain experience. So this question is from Zizima, and Zizima says, I have decided to plan out some stuff to do for my career as a software developer. I ordered the book C Sharp in depth. I am completing a C Sharp path, which will take me from beginner to pro in about 50 to 100 hours of watching slash coding along as well as applying the topics to improve my current web application. I also plan to take uh, Pluralsight courses in other related frameworks. I'm currently a student studying computer science. My last semester was rough. I did not get to code as much as I wanted to and also did not get an internship for the job in the summer. So I'm currently at home for the next two to three months until school starts again. Does this sound reasonable or am I better off getting out of the house and working at Best Buy or a supermarket? <laughs> Best best buy or a supermarket. No, don't do that. Do what you're doing. That's better. But I'll tell you what. Okay, here's here's the thing. So, well, let me tell you about Pluralsight first of all. For those of you that that don't know, I'm an author for Pluralsight. I've done 55 courses for them. So I have to tell you about that. Uh, just just so you know, right? And check them out. Check them out. By the way, I love Pluralsight. Pluralsight is awesome. That's, that's why I'm going to tell you not to watch Pluralsight. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. But what I'm going to tell you is, first of all, sign up if you haven't. It's, it's a really good deal, probably the best deal that you can as a developer. I've talked about this before. I'm not going to beat a dead horse here. But if you haven't signed up for Pluralsight, you really need to. It's like it's like ridiculously good deal. Okay, it's better than I used to buy so many technical books. I used to spend like two three hundred dollars a month on buying technical books and and reading through them and spending a whole bunch of time. And Pluralsight is like what like thirty bucks a month or so, and you get access to thousands and thousands of courses. It, that's ridiculous. But here's the thing. Okay, what you, your plan sounds great. And I like the fact that you're going through this, this C Sharp course and you're, you're focusing on one thing. But I tell people this all the time. Even though I promote Pluralsight, even though I, I love you to watch my videos on Pluralsight, don't go and just watch a bunch of random videos on Pluralsight and think you're learning stuff. You're not learning stuff, okay? It's, it's, you can learn stuff on Pluralsight. Pluralsight is one of the best tools as a developer, I think, to learn something quickly. But here's the thing. You have to actually write code and actually do work and it has to be relevant to what you're doing, okay? So what I mean by this is that if you're going to do this, this C Sharp road, don't just go through the Pluralsight courses on C Sharp and think that when you come at the end of it, you're going to become an expert C Sharp developer. Not, not a chance. Not going to happen. But you, if you go through those courses and along with those courses, you do a couple things. One, you do the exercises obviously in the course, but two, you build your own project or application so you're actually using what you're learning, right? That is what's going to make the difference there. So again, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to discourage you. I think you've got a really good plan here, but make sure that your plan includes creating your own project, not just going through this. I've talked about how reading a book to cover, cover to cover is a very bad strategy. That's how I used to learn things. It's the same thing with binge watching Pluralsight videos. Okay, I, I actually have a course called 10 Steps to Learn Anything Quickly that you can check out that teaches you how to learn something quickly, how to actually go and, and teach yourself. And you can utilize that. That's, that's the framework I'd recommend that shortcuts a lot of this, uh, a lot of the, the waste that, that we have when, when we just go and like binge watch something or we just go read books cover to cover. So, so here, here's what I would suggest then, is just your plan is great, what, what, you've, what you've got set out. Don't go to Best Buy or work at the grocery store. Okay, or, and don't become a stripper, but, but here's what you need to do. Just make sure that with this plan that you, all, but you come up with some kind of project, some kind of application that you're going to create, okay, that is going to, that you're going to need C Sharp to do. 
that you're good, when you're learning this language, when you're learning the courses through Pluralsight, you're learning, always, always think of this in this terms, right? Always say, I want to learn X so I can do Y. So I want to learn C Sharp so that I can build a web application that has, that is a database of all of my favorite movies or whatever it is. I, I don't care what your project is. It doesn't even have to be commercially viable, but you need to have something that you're learning for, okay? And when you do that, that's when the learning is going to stick. That's when it's going to become true understanding, and that's what's going to be more valuable for you. Plus, at the end of this, you'll have a portfolio. You'll have some application that you've built that you could show to employers and say, hey, look, I built this thing, right? So if I were you, I would, I would think about maybe creating one or two, maybe even three applications that you can put in your portfolio okay, and use this time as you're learning the language to do that. And, and I know that what you're thinking when I say this is you're like, well, wait a minute. I'll just go through all the Pluralsight courses and I'll just learn C Sharp really good and then I'll build it. No, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You need to be doing it. You, you learn by doing, okay? And so you have to apply. And it's not just doing the exercises because that's the other thing that, that you might be thinking. You're saying, oh, well, okay, fine, John, whatever. I'm just going to do all the coding exercises in the Pluralsight courses. No, still not good enough because you're just copying an example. You're not solving a problem. You need to think about and try to solve your own problem. When, when you get to the, the best the best knowledge that you ever have, the best understanding that you ever have of anything is questions that you answer that you, for yourself. So when you're doing something, you're trying to create this project, you're like, man, how do I make this web page, this button work and get this data from the database? You ask that question in your head, okay? And then you go and you find the answer or you learn it through a course you're taking and it sticks. Now you get it. Whereas before, if you did it in the reverse direction, if you heard about some, some information in reading a or watching a course or reading a book, it doesn't stick because you don't know it's relevant or not and you don't even remember it and so you, you waste your time and you have to go back and figure it out anyway. So always think in those terms, create a project, answer your questions, and yes, it's harder this way. It's more of a struggle, but that's how you, you truly learn. Unless you want to waste your time doing this over and over again and not really and getting maybe 10% of it. Because I used to do this, or like, like I said. So again, I, Pluralsight is great, I, awesome. I always recommend them. Definitely check out the description. Sign up if you haven't. And if you haven't subscribed already, I don't know what you're doing. Click that subscribe button below. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.